Wish me luck. This is a four wrap. If you want a little bit more friction, you can go through again and do a six wrap of them maybe. I'm gonna leave quite a few also, because uh, I need them to climb up back to my harness. And now I'm connected to two points. So welcome back. Today I've got kind of a fun video for you. Today I'm gonna climb this tree uh, using a rope. This tree right here is right in front of our garden and it's preventing um, the sun from coming in and keeping a lot of it shaded. So I don't want to cut this tree down, but I do want to bring the limbs up quite a ways, way higher than I can reach with my pole saw. So I'll kind of show you the technique today for uh, climbing a, a tree with a rope. Um, it's something that uh, I'm just doing around here because uh, I need to get a job done, but it's also a great hobby. Uh, if you want a little bit of adventure or excitement in your life, something you can put together for uh, a couple hundred bucks, get all the equipment, and it's, it's actually very exciting. I think it's good to do something every day that scares you a little bit. It uh, helps to remember you're alive. So I'll be using today just a standard 50 meter climbing rope. Um, I have a long background in rock climbing. I did it for about 10 years, traveled all over the country and, and was really into it. So I'm familiar with, uh, with uh, knots and, and climbing and, and the whole thing. Uh, I don't have all the fancy technical tree climbing specific equipment, but um, I have uh, stuff that's adequate. So I'll kind of share with you a couple of the things that I'll, I'll be using today. All right, for a climbing harness, I'm just using a standard sports climbing harness because that's what I have and I, I like it. I'm used to it. Uh, it's the most comfortable. Um, I'll be using three locking carabiners and this right here is a piece of climbing webbing that's doubled up. This will be used as a lanyard and then of course I'll be coming down, rappelling down on, an, on a standard eight and then I've got my uh, small rope here for my Prusiks and then just a small kit bag. It's got extra batteries and my gloves and a hat and just some water, just a few things because I'll be up there for uh, a couple hours. So that's essentially the kit. Oh, one other thing I forgot, I'll also be using my uh, Barnell limbing saw. Uh, and I've got that tied onto a lanyard too so I don't drop it. So that's it. It's raining today so hopefully it'll stop but I should be pretty sheltered under the canopy. Alright, to get started it's actually quite simple. It's simply throwing our rope over a good green limb, something that's strong, obviously it's not going to break on us. And then all the knots that I'll be using are uh, f uh, climbing eights or figure eights. And so with this one here, the loop will lock into our harness and I'll always be using a locking carabiner. A locking carabiner is a beaner that has a safety device that prevents it from opening. You can see this particular one has a screw closure and it's just something uh, that um, will just is a little bit safer. And from there, we'll use our, um, our Prusix here uh, as a friction brake, and I'll show you, show you how to set that up. So with our end of our rope clipped in here, we're going to take our... This is just a short piece of rope uh, called a Prusix, and it's uh, got a, a kind of a double fisherman's knot on there. And so what we'll do is, is we'll come across on, on the back, let's see if I can get you in frame here, and just go through the loop. and make sure you keep this all dressed and in order there and then we'll go uh, that's that's just uh, two wraps and then we'll go back sp spread it and then go back right through the middle again make sure it's all dressed and this right here is our we have friction brake. As you can see here, it'll slide up and down, but if we pull on it, it will bite the rope, and that will prevent us from sliding down. So this is what we're going to use, or what I'm going to use to ascend. This is a four wrap. If you want a little bit more friction, you can go through again and do a six wrap. Uh, I use a four wrap. I find it, it's sufficient, and it's easier to move up and down. The six wrap is sometimes a little more difficult. So once we've got the Prestix on, uh, then we'll take and a locking beaner. And then clip this into our harness also. Making sure that everything's locked down there. Okay, so now we're ready to ascend. All right, now that we're all clipped in, we can go ahead and slide our pressings up, get this tight, and then come back on the rope and you can see now, hands free, that press will hold me. So now I've got a mechanical advantage 
with this rope going over the limb, I can jump and kind of pull myself up and then slide that prussix up. And then kind of kind of just continue the process. There's many ways of doing this. It's kind of a slow process, but once you get up to the first limb, then you don't have to do this anymore. We'll just climb normally. All right, so this is where I've got to leave the tripod behind, and I'm going to try to film a little bit of the uh, up above with my impromptu helmet cam. So, wish me luck. It can be a it can be a little tricky to gain the first branch, but once you kind of snake up here and get yourself situated, then it's time to clip in your lanyard. So you can see right there, I've got my lanyard clipped around a branch up above me and back to my harness, and now I'm connected at two points, my uh, ascending line and my uh, lanyard. So I always want to be connected with something, uh, at least one point, so now I can unsnap this, my main line, and then reposition that one above as I start to climb. And just uh, taking turns back and forth, making sure that I'm, I'm connected either by my um, ascending line or my lanyard. So as I'm working my way up, I'm gonna cut a few of the branches, half of them maybe. I'm gonna leave quite a few also, because uh, I need them to climb up. But once I get to the very top, I'll set my rope and then I'll start rappelling down and then tie myself at each branch and then take them off uh, as I come down. Ooh. Gnarly! Well, that looks better. Sure got a heck of a mess to clean up. <laughs> 